Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. It's not going to be a tutorial, but it's going to be my top 20 picks of products that I absolutely love and feel like I can't do without, which I could, but I don't want to. Alright, my absolute number one favorite product, as you know, is this. I have so many people that ask me, what is the little blue and white tool that I use all the time? This is called Kaiser Craft Die Release Tool, but I use it as my pickup tool to pull the backing off of score tape, whatever. I use this end on my little mini albums on the corners. You've seen me do that. We do have these in the shop. They're very, very inexpensive, and they are more than worth triple times their weight in gold as far as I'm concerned. I have just about, as you can see, I've just about worn mine out. I've got another one on back, sit back though. I won't do without one. But this is my number one favorite tool. I use it every time I do a video. I'm going to pick up, you're going to see me pick up this tool. Okay, my second favorite tool, I would think, would be this my Fiskars stamp press and this is the small one you can get one that's even larger than this but I absolutely love this as you can see it has the little cushiony corners you can guide it down with the clear now you can't use this with wood stamps of course but you can use it with the clear stamps you can guide it down to your page you can put the stamps on the little grids I mean, it's just very easy to use, very simple to use. Once I started using this, I, I didn't go back to my blocks very often. I do my blocks every now and then, but not very often. I get a much better, crisper image when I use this. And we do sell the Misty, and I have tried the Misty. The Misty is great for someone who does a lot of re repetitive stamping, which I don't. So this is good for me, but the Misty is wonderful if you're going to do like a lot of Christmas cards or something like that where you do a lot of the same stamping over and over again. That is absolutely wonderful. But we sell this, the larger one, and the Misty. But this is my number two. And I'm going to try not to let this video be forever long. My number three, or I would say this is probably one and two, but my next one is the art glitter glue. I use this in all of my videos as well. We do have this in the shop. We try not to ever run out of it. It has the fine tip or you can pull this little fine tip off and use it with the larger tip. I put just one of our little basic gray magnets on the side and that is what I put my pen on when I take it out so that I don't lose my pen because believe me I've lost a couple of these pens. And you can't put just any pen in there because just the regular type pens will rust. It has to be one that will not rust. So, love, love, love that. The next one would be my score tape. And I'm just going to do all my adhesives together. My score tape, my ATG tape. Love these two. I love this gun. Love our ATG tape. It's very inexpensive. It's like $2.20 a roll. You get... Uh, think 36 yards it goes forever and ever and I love 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 it use it all the time um, love my score tape this will hold just about anything I use it on all of my mini albums another adhesive is my glue dots I love my glue dots I have them in the little runner and also on the little roll love my glue dots and that little pickup tool is just right for getting that little glue dot if you can see for just right for picking up that little glue dot right there so those two items go together very well so that would be another one um, the next one would be my Tim Holtz inks love my Tim Holtz inks and the round um, distress tools ink tools I, I don't like the square ones, the big square ones. I love the round ones, though. But I have just about all of his ink colors. I love those. This is just one I grabbed down. All, again, all of this is in our shop. I have people all the time that message me under my videos and say, where did you get so-and-so? Where did you get so-and-so? Most all of the items that I use do come 
does come from our shops. If there's something that I use that's an older product, I try to tell you that it's an older product and that we are not carrying it at the moment or we can't get it anymore or something like that. But most everything that you will see me use has come from our shop. And if it's still available for us to get, it will still be in our shop. My Tim Holtz ruler, absolutely love it. It has that little center zero there that you can use. This is wonderful. Um, let's see. My stylus and my, um, this is a Martha Stewart scoreboard. I love it. Love the big one. I don't use the little one. I love the big one, but I use this stylus with it. It has the different ends on it. Love those two items. And I'm I'm not going in order anymore. I'm just I'm just spitting them out there. This, my rotary cutter. This is from Fiskers. It's the rotary cutter. It has the rotary blade on it. Love this. You have to press it down in order for it to engage. I like that part of it. My little little babies can't get their fingers under there and get them cut because they have to they'd have to know to press this down. You can also, you know, lock it in place if you want to. Some people can't. So the little ones can't use it if they don't need to be using that. So love this. Let's see what else we got. Oh, another Tim Holtz. My, some of my favorites. Love these scissors. This is the shears. And then this is his regular scissors. These are non-stick scissors. So if you're cutting something that has glue on it, it doesn't stick. They're the tonic scissors. These shears will absolutely cut through chipboard and thick chipboard. Love them. Love my little cutter bee scissors for my cutting little things. Bone folder. This is a different bone folder than I really like. I like my gray bone folder, but I broke it and I haven't gotten it replaced yet. So this is just a um, regular bone folder. I'm not crazy about it, but I love my bone. I love a bone folder, a good bone folder. So I have another one coming. This one, this is the one I really like. This is the EK Success, but I broke the tip off of it and it doesn't work quite as well. But I love this one. Fits in your hand really well and it does a great job. Uh, let's see. Paste. These are my favorites right here. I love gesso to prep my projects. I like the light paste and the opaque matte. This is from Phenobar Art Basics. I love this it, to put that texture on your projects. And then the collage podge matte finish to seal everything over and make sure that nothing fades or comes up off of your page or whatever. This does not leave your project sticky like uh, Mod Podge does. I don't use a lot of Mod Podge anymore. This I use this all the time. Um, lastly, I guess, would be my Versafine and my little corner rounder. Love these two products. You see me use these on just about every project too. Uh, I think that's it, guys. Those are some of my absolute favorite. I think that was 20 of my absolute favorite products that I use just about on a daily basis. All right, guys, that is it. We will see you tomorrow with another tutorial on a really fun project, I hope. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget, tomorrow night is our drawing for our 5K giveaway. We have five different prizes to give out so click the link in the description of this video go over to that giveaway video that it shows and leave your comment under there to be entered we'll talk to you guys later bye bye